Tell us about the succession plan and how it's impacted your transition into the top role. The transition has been um, going on for quite some time. Uh, Modern went through a restructuring period uh, after 2008 and the recession hitting. Uh, I led the company through that time. I had uh, a great person who I could learn from and Dave Griffith, the previous CEO. And, and now it's really, uh, the progression of the company is really to get into a growth pattern as, as opposed to restructuring. Tell me what you thought about in the first 100 days. What were your priorities and how did you set them? Really surround myself with, with a, a team of competent people that I could really trust. And people who added to uh, points of view that were different than mine, but, but ones that were valued. Um, and also, uh, Modern has a, a great employee base and to get them re-engaged in thinking about growth, thinking about how we could take care of customers and, and really uh, trying to influence and put technology back into the business. Uh, we're doing a lot of things with web apps, uh, different marketing structures, uh, phone apps that, that people in our industry didn't do in the past. So really getting people to, to start looking forward uh, in those first 100 days and try to set a new tone for the company, which is again, focused on growth and focused on bringing customers innovative solutions, which, which are difficult to do when you're just kind of in the equipment business. How deliberate were your actions as you considered setting a new tone for the future? And tell me what real um, catalyst ideas you used. Being able to, you know, run the, in, in essence, work as chief operating officer and run the company for the last three years gave me the benefit to kind of put some of those pieces in place prior to actually taking the job as CEO. The mobile dispatch work order is something that we, we felt strongly about uh, and we invested in even though we were going through a tough time through a recession. About half of our workforce are, are technicians who are actually out working on customers' equipment. So that presence to the customer is very important for us. So our technicians, when they show up, they actually have a computer, they have a tablet, and they are doing an electronic uh, work order right there on the tablet, as opposed to the old companies who use paper and pen and greasy hands and things like that. So, you know, to be able to take that level to the customer and upgrade their satisfaction is really kind of the tone that we want to set going forward, saying, you know, your experience with modern, right, is better than any other experience than our competitors. And it is what's gonna be the thing that sets us aside and makes us different, right? Another benefit of that electronic system as opposed to waiting two or three days for, or weeks for bills, right? We're the, we can email you that invoice the same day, right? So it really takes us into a, a world where equipment manufacturers and equipment distributors haven't been before. So what's the next element of change for you, for Modern Group? Continuing to take care of these great employees we have, continuing to go out and find good employees, which is probably the biggest challenge any company like ours has, is how do you find the next group of employees to come in, right? And succession planning and all those good things that we took our eye off as, as we were going through a recession. How do we get back to succession planning? How do we get back to find the next generation of great employee owners for us? And re-engage the ones we have moving forward. That at the end of the day, when an owner shows up to service your equipment, that's a different experience than an employee showing up. What role do you think the ESOP played in keeping those owners engaged? The engagement of those owner employees really helped us because again, they, they work harder, they, they, they care more, uh, they have a stake in the game. So as we were going through troubled times, you know, I do believe that those employees rolled their sleeves up a little bit more than maybe a non-ESOP company would have and got us through. I mean, our employees got us through that recession. Well, it sounds to me like the sky's the limit as you look forward. The sky absolutely is the limit as we look forward. We have businesses within our portfolio that are growing at the rate of 20 to 30 percent a year and uh, the power generation business, the construction business and our forklift business, again, is starting to take hold in the marketplaces we service. And uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, the next 70 years. Well, best of luck. Thank Thanks you. for joining us.